Condenser microphones or dynamic microphones? Which is the best solution for your voice? Let's find out. Okay guys, I'm Francesco, welcome to my channel. Today uh, we are going to talk about these two main families of microphones and um, we're going to uh, find all the pros and the cons of each kind of microphones and maybe we'll find out which is the best kind of microphones for your voice. And so let's start um, with the condenser microphones. The main pro of this kind of microphones is the general quality of the sound. Um, condenser microphones are the kind of microphones that are used, uh, usually used in uh, studio for vocals. Um, yes, obviously are different microphones for um, the studio one uh, and uh, live ones like this one. But uh, the general kind of sound is that one. So uh, the sound uh, of these microphones are pretty clear and detailed. Let's go to the pro of the dynamic microphones because these kind of microphones are quite um, resistant, uh, shock resistant, but also um, are uh, Larsen resistant, a lot more than the uh, condenser one. So um, when you are on stage, uh, it can be usually a lot easier to uh, sing, to have no problems of that kind, like Larsen problems, with this kind of microphone. Another stuff that I think is a pro of the dynamic microphones is that the sound of the dynamic microphone is um, helps a lot when you sing something of belting, of strong, that kind of compressed sound, belted sound of your voice with these microphones tend to be better. Um, yeah, but on the other side, let's try to discover which are the cons of each microphones. So about the condenser microphones, if in one side, if on one side we have all this clear and detailed sound, on the other side we can have a lot more problems on stage about Larsen, but also uh, about um, amplify all the sound around that are noise, probably, or however that are sound maybe of the other instrument of the band, but however a sound that we don't want to uh, be captured by our microphone. And um, about the dynamic microphones, if I have to say the main, uh, co the main cons, I think that probably is that these are not condenser one. I mean, the general quality of the uh, dynamic microphone uh, is less detailed, less clear, uh, probably in some way less nice, but it's just a general way, it's just, uh, you know, you have a lot of different microphones, a lot of different prices and quality of microphones, so you can actually find uh, a dynamic microphone that is really nice and really good quality. But the kind of characteristic of clear sound that are specific of the condenser microphone are just in the condenser microphones. Um, so, how can I choose my microphone? If I have to choose the right microphone for my voice, I think I should follow three, um, three principal points. Um, the first one is I have to consider my voice, my kind of voice, the color of my voice. So 
generally speaking there is no not one best microphone ever in general for everyone no absolutely there are best microphones for each person for each voice so first of all our kind of voice if we have a very for example a very deep and uh, yes a very deep voice probably we can find useful to have a condenser microphone that is quite clear and helps to clarify our voice um, at the same time if we have I don't know maybe um, a voice that is quite um, belty and we also sing most of our music in that kind of style probably we find more easy and good to sing with this kind with the dynamic microphones and uh, actually the second uh, point that we can follow for the right shoes of the microphone is the style our style that I know is very connected to our voice but what I mean is if we have one kind of voice we can obviously sing a lot of different singing in a lot of different styles so as I just said if we tend to use a lot uh, belted um, sounds compressed sounds uh, probably this one can be the better choose and uh, if we are more soft probably or sounds more acoustic or we are going to we like to find the the little details the space the air that kind of dimension in our voice probably we are going to choose a condenser one the third and last point that can help us to find the best microphone is absolutely the place where we are going to perform I mean the kind of dimension of venues where we are supposed to place the most so if we for example are playing rock or maybe some some kind of music that is quite strong and loud and we probably know that the most of the places the venues where we are going to play our pub or uh, maybe little space or crowded space loud space i think absolutely a dynamic microphone can be the right choice for you at the same if we uh, maybe our jazz singer and we are going to play the most of our gigs in maybe uh, quiet places places that are uh, thought for the listening the quiet listening probably we can enjoy the sound of uh, um, a condenser microphone this the idea but what about me so I use both what I mean is that yes uh, there are singers that actually have um, one favorite microphone and they use only that microphone but there are other singers that uh, have their favorite microphones so maybe two microphones like me I use this uh, condenser microphone that is a Neumann KMS 104 is a wonderful microphone and I use this microphone because I like uh, the general um, color of the sound and at the same time I like the yeah obviously the detail and all the uh, the typical sound of the condenser but nice a good quality condenser and uh, I used to play to sing with this microphone um, in all the venue in all the places where I know that I can 
so where I know that uh, there is not too much loud where I know that my stage um, will be um, not loud but also not loud because of the band so maybe my choose between these two microphones can change in relation also to which band I play with in that gig and I use this other microphone, the Dynamic Beta 58 Shure, a very nice microphone and uh, I use this microphone actually a lot because um, I obviously use this one when I busk and uh, also I use this microphone in all the other uh, gigs where for example I play music with uh, a band and, and I know that that gig uh, gone not to be re very relaxed or, or very uh, quiet and also maybe when I have gig in places in venues that I know that are small or quite not very loud but not also very quiet sometimes I I bring both the microphone and I check because sometimes you know if you are in a place in a nice venue that is also quiet but the general sound of that place uh, maybe is not wonderful use a microphone like this one uh, it's not good it's not good because you are uh, taking you are uh, the microphone are capturing all uh, uh, the sounds around you that are not only the loud of the people or wherever but all also like a kind of acoustic of the place so if the acoustic is generally not very nice be careful because also your voice will be not not very nice as it should be so in that case also in that case don't underestimate a nice uh, dynamic microphone okay that's all hope that i've been quite clear trying to explain the main differences of these families of microphones and also my mind about it and uh, any question any doubt wherever write a comment below if you liked this um, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye!